All right. Welcome, goddesses. All right. So I'm going to go through the five things to support us in this Scorpio full, super prosperous moon. It actually happens on April 26th, 27th. So we are already in the potent energy of it. That's why we're having it today. So you have the weekend to really stir the pot around the full moon, to set your crystals out, to get clear on your intentions, to release what no longer serves you. Um, you know, full moons are the apex, the, the fullness of the seeds we planted. And the full moon illuminates our path. So we can see clearly what's working and what's not working. And to choose powerfully what we want to engage with moving forward. So this moon, now this this comes from uh, Chica Chica, I think her name is on, or Chic Chic uh, on YouTube. These are her guidances. I use different people's, I'm not an astrologer, but I am a like, let's leverage what's happening in the stars to support us. The moon obviously affects us. This full, full moons, you know, we are made of water. The water, the full moon pulls us forth and pulls us okay um pulls us towards it which means it pulls up emotions it pulls up old things that we thought had maybe healed or maybe we shoved down or maybe we've been avoiding <laughs> it brings it right up yay so if you find yourself i know this to be well for me, I get really horny. I don't know. Like it makes me kind of crazy, like a little stir crazy, but like just notice um, how your emotions are affected in the moon cycles. You may find yourself weepy or, or needing to take naps or self-care more in these, in a full moon or a new moon. So the invitation for you is to notice how, how you are feeling, check in where we are in the moon cycle, and then see if this is something that happens in a cycle. And then how you can amplify your support around it, as opposed to powering through, you know, like how many of us power through? We're like, I feel tired. I just, I'm being lazy. No, it might be your cycle. It might be where you're at. And, and it's a time that actually nurturing this super, okay, it's a full super prosperous moon. I just have to keep saying, it. I think it's kind of funny. Number one, we're doing five things that will support us in this super full moon is we will be releasing toxic, shallow relationships. So this is, we are in a rebirth phase. This Scorpio is equals rebirth. So any relationship that has been surfacy, that has been toxic, it will leave in this phase or right after this full moon. So that may illuminate your path, whether a certain relationship in your life is serving you or is not serving you. And I invite you to write down any relationships where you feel they are no longer serving you. Are there relationships that are, that piss you off, that are angry? And maybe, and maybe they're, Maybe they piss you off to expand you. Like that's a different kind of relationship than a toxic relationship. Like some people come into our lives to expand our thinking and our, and our uh, possibilities. And, and that can be a, a combative relationship, but it's healthy in that it's like moving us forward in different ways. Um, we don't have to have that experience, but sometimes that is the experience. Uh, 
or are there like people who are just around and they could be blood relation family like that are tied to us or they are um co-workers like people that maybe aren't by choice or maybe there's just some like hangers on maybe somebody from high school or from your yoga class that's like this like like this you're like flick it off your shoulder you know you're like, what is happening like, leo feels the same way so just write down if anybody bubbles up if anybody pops into your head if not just notice if there are relationships that fall off in this next like week period, this period of time. The second is unexpected news. So we are in transformation. You know, uh, the caterpillar, right, is, is molten goo <laughs> in the process of becoming the butterfly know that there may be molten goo that you are going to go through in this transformational process. And the, the opportunity in knowing that is that that's what lays ahead and to allow it, to not fight it, to know that you are transforming even in the releasing of old relationships, again, it goes back to the seasons of letting go what no longer serves us. And sometimes that's people, sometimes that's behavior, sometimes that's uh, actions we used to take. It used to be like workout classes. I used to go jazzercise. I don't jazzercise anymore. It can be anything, right? We go through phases and it is part of our transformation. So, there may be unexpected news that comes and allow it to just know that it's there to release what no longer serves me and is stepping me into my next phase, my higher good. There could be relationship disagreements. In transformation, it is upsetting to other people. They can sense your energy and your shifts. It is scary for them know that they may fight you on things. So if you find yourself in disagreements as opposed to doubling down and being right, what if I didn't have to be right in this moment? What if I didn't have to win this because I'm already winning in life. I'm already winning in transformation. So it, others may be stirred up because of your moltenness, you know, because of your transformation. And that's okay. Just know that that is part of the process of coming out and flapping your wings into being a butterfly, this next butterfly that you are, this next phase that you're going into. Uh, and you may, you may want to warn them. Like if they start coming at you go, oh, I, I bet my energy is, might be freaking you out. Just know like, yeah, I'm changing and you can change too and, and or not, like it's not putting anything on them. Um, but people will get, they just, um, they can sense it, the energy and they won't even know that they're sensing it. You know, they don't have to be intuitive. They don't have to be, you know, doing the things we do to go like something's different here and I'm, it's freaking me out, makes me nervous. So just know that. Now, this is where we will do our clarity exercise right now is I want you to think back to November, 2020. That was the Scorpio new moon. What seeds did you plant in November, 2020? What seeds did you plant in November of 2020? You think about like that's fall, Thanksgiving. I went to Sedona. That was exciting. I bought lots of crystals. <laughs> um, what seeds did you plant in November 2020? Where are they at? Mm-hmm. 
And then where would you like to see yourself in a year from now? So all this, where I was, what I was, you know, as a, as a society, we were resisting the transformation of our planet of humanity in 2020. And here we are in 2021 and we're, we're starting to open up on the other side. This is the full moon of opening up on the other side. What's possible? What am I choosing moving forward? What are my values now that I've been through something that the entire world went through? What do I value now that maybe I didn't even have a concept of a year ago? That wasn't even a thought or a flicker. Where will you be in a year from now? April, All right, I wanna give us space. So the third is stop self-judgment. Pew, 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 pew. <laughs> right? Um, less hustle. So we live in this um, hustle economy, right? But the real definition of hustle is kind of like manipulation. It is going fast, speeding through, kind of like shortcuts um, and there's so much like I have to get, I gotta get to the next thing, I gotta get to the next thing, I gotta get to the next thing. And, and this like uh, hamster wheel that is our hustle society. Like, oh, I gotta, I gotta do better in my business. I gotta, I gotta be skinnier in my jeans. I gotta, you know, I cannot even put on jeans at this point, by the way. I went on a date this week and I wore kind of like heels for the first time. I don't even know how to walk anymore in heels. I was like, what is this? It was awful. <laughs> but it's like, we get to start anew. What do we get to create? And slow down. Um, stop self judgment. So this is, uh, this full moon is actually asking us to ask the deep questions. So we've talked about this is transformation. You are in transformation. This is the opportunity to review. And for those who have, who have done the upgrade life, it's, it's an opportunity kind of to do that checklist in the areas of your life of, does this still light me up? You know, like my jazzercise. Does that still light me up? Does, do my gowns still light me up? Does wearing heels still light me up? On the second date with this guy, I wore my flip-flops. I'm not going to lie. Like, we both tried to behave on the first one and then the second one, we were like flip-flops, please. <laughs> yes, I went on two dates with the same man this week. 
Thank you. I received handsome, handsome ass man. Woo! So um, the questions are, you know, does this bring me joy? And I'm going to give you an opportunity to kind of, as we're talking, think of the areas in your life. Does this bring me joy? And, and that could be your job. That could be your home. That could be your eating. That could be your drinking. That could be your uh, sex life. That could be, you know, does, does this bring, just asking the deeper questions, reflecting. It is a journaling time. This moon is about journaling your emotions, getting your feelings down on the page, free writing. So like write a, a page in your journal every morning for the next you know, seven days and just see what flows. No, no point. Just start writing. Oh, it's a, it's Thursday morning. I'm happy to be breathing this morning. Oh, what's this feeling in my gut? Oh, this is, I, you know, just allow it to flow out. That's a prescription for the next seven days. That's an action item, a committed action you can take uh, until we meet again next Saturday at 9 a.m. for our weekly community check-in call. Um, so ask the deep questions and really uncover, close, uncover your truth in your life. And that is this transformational time right now. There is uh, also a prescription to stop social media after the full moon, like take a little break off of social media to clear your mind, whether that's like a day or a week or whatever calls to you, maybe it's three days or, um, but take, take a break. I know I've been mindlessly scrolling a lot. I'm, I'm, I'm obsessed with this thug life game on Facebook. It's so stupid, but like, for whatever reason, it hooked me. It got me. That is not a good use of my mind or my time or my space. Um, so yeah, I get to like knock that off. That is not working for me anymore. Um, here are mantras for this time for you. Write this down. I am doing the work. You showed up today. You are doing the work. I acknowledge you, goddess, for doing the work. Sometimes it hurts. Sometimes it gets ugly. We're in the mushy, molten phase, and it's like, where is this going? When will this end? When will this, when will I come out the other side? But you will, this too shall pass as it always does. The season shall complete and it is opening space for what's next for you to fly. The second mantra is, I am where I'm meant to be. I am where I am meant to be. I am where I am meant to be. And the last mantra is I take inspired action only. So I only take action when I am inspired, when I'm divinely inspired. however that resonates for you. So catch yourself in doing, 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 as opposed to when I am in, when I am in inspired action, A, the path illuminates for me with ease and flow. The action I take, I can take one action that allows all the other things to unfold as opposed to busying myself and not allowing the unfoldment. Ah. <sighs> All right, the fourth thing, this super full prosperous moon is to get grounded. Get 
grounded. So Scorpio is water energy. So you need to get grounded. That again is journaling, pre-writing. Earth walking. So go outside with your bare feet on the grass or in the sand and walk on the earth and feel her. Slow down long enough to feel her energy. Appreciate, you know, we just had Earth Day two days ago. What is speaking through you, through her? What is she trying to tell you? And it also goes to a mom energy. There's a mom energy right now or a sister energy, like, like this sisterhood of asking for help. It's okay to ask for help. And, and most likely it will be the feminine energy. Maybe it's a man, but who's in his feminine, but it's like a mother, sister, sisterhood energy connect in this time. So those are, so those are some committed actions you can take. Journaling, earth walking, connecting with women, asking for support or help in this period of time. Get grounded. And then the last piece of this, the fifth is Get excited because after the 26th, it's on like Donkey Kong. Everything you have asked for will come into focus, into fruition, will start unfolding, showing up. So like you are going through the fire now, whatever you've been going through, there is an opening, a release, a new possibility that shows up after the full moon. So after the 26th, ask for divine signs. I've been asking for a bluebird about this hot man that I've been dating. Show me if he's my guy by having a bluebird show up. Ask for any divine sign am I, uh, you know, is this right for me? Show me a sign, show me um, labradoodles, <laughs> whatever, <laughs> like, you know? And then just notice, just forget about it and see what pops up, see what shows up in your realm. So here are the prompts. that we'll, we'll use now. So what changes are coming into my life? Knowing that we are in this transformational shift, what changes are coming into my life? And the second prompt is, what are you learning? What are you learning? What am I learning about me? What are some new truths about me? You know, you've been in this space, some of you for a while, and you've grown. And things that 
used to be so rock solid, no longer even like are a thought in your life anymore. They're like, oh, that's not even me anymore. That's how quickly we regenerate and can create anything in our life. So what am I learning? Didn't last. What am I leaving behind? What am I setting down now? I'm setting down self beat up. I'm setting down self judgment. I'm setting down hardship. I'm setting down guilt. And this actually relates to the affirmations around this, not affirmations, but kind of the themes. What we're setting down is grief. The grief of past relationships or experiences, things we've suffered through or what we're setting down. There, there may be grief that comes up around it, but we also know that this, this is not for us, right? Like we've been through it and now it is no longer for us. This isn't ours to hold on to anymore. The second is truth. The truth within myself, my true knowing, and where I want to change, where I want to go. Like the truth of where I wanna go. Like what am I pretending not to know, but you know. And the last piece is regret. So we may have had some regret or thinking we have regrets from our past, from 2020, from how we were living to who we're choosing to be now and just leaving that behind. So what I'm leaving behind is